Alright guys, in this video I will show you how to do the dual generation. Also, I would like to ask you not to share this video, because if Konami sees this, they might be able to fix this, since I'm going to show you pretty exactly how to do this. Okay, so first, of course, you need to start Duel Links and you need to start the bot. Then you go to the miscellaneous tab in the bot, and down here it will say Duels Generator. So you click on that. First, you choose the dual type, which you want to set to raid duels right now, because there's a raid duels event going on. Now it's asking you to input these four values. To do that, you need to follow my instructions. It will be challenging, I guess, but just bear with me. So first, you have to download a program called Teleric Fiddler. It can be downloaded from the website teleric.com slash download slash fiddler. I will put all the links in the description. Now here you have to enter your email address, just anything, and also how do you plan to use Fiddler, blah blah, and just your country, state, province, anything you want, you accept, and then you download for Windows. Okay, we didn't select an option here yet, so we will just say gaming, and then we will download for Windows. Alright, so we got the Fiddler set up here which we will launch in order to install the Fiddler web debugger. We will say, I agree, install, and wait until Fiddler has been installed. Okay, installation was successful, that's good. Then we will also need an extension for Fiddler, which is called the request to code extension. So you go to this website, again the link will be in the description. So you scroll down and you click on this button here to download the Fiddler extension request to code. Okay, so we successfully downloaded that. We open that up. And here we will look at the readme. It will say uh, how to install it. So we will have to go to the Fiddler scripts directory. All right, in order to find the file path of Fiddler, we will type in Fiddler in the search and then we will do open file location and then we will right click here and we will do open file location again. Here we will go to the scripts directory and actually close this again. We will just copy this DLL file into here and then we are finished installing the extension. Next, we will actually launch Fiddler. Okay, so here you go. You will just say no. Then you will already see that network traffic is being captured. Our goal is of course to capture dual links. So if we click um, initiate link, what will happen is that we will see here URL Konami, stuff like that. Next will be to actually um, initiate a raid duel, which we want to win by using Duel Skipper. So we will tick this checkbox in the bot and then we will also load our cheat profile. Most importantly, it will be the highest battle damage. It has to be pretty high. so. We also need to set the set profile for dual skipper option. Okay, one thing we forgot to do is to actually go to tools, options, HTTPS, capture HTTPS connects and decrypt HTTPS traffic. To intercept, Fiddler generates a unique root certificate. So we say yes and yes, confirm yes, and then also Yes, okay, okay. Now in Duel Links, we have to enter Raid Duels. Okay, once again, we delete all of those. Then we enter Raid Duels. It will say raid.disp underscore top. Next will be to play an assist duel, like this. Then the duel ends and we get our rewards and so on. That's good. Next will be 
that we will switch back to Fiddler, we will mark this network message and hold down the control key, then also select search help, do begin and do end. Over here we will select code, then we will pull all four into the code window. We will scroll down, don't be scared about the code, you don't have to know anything. So you go to the string body equals, then you use the arrow keys to navigate and to copy all of this base64 encoded string inside those quotation marks. And then in the bot you actually open the dual generator and you paste the disp top in here. If you did it correctly it will show up in green and if the value is invalid it will show up in red. So the next one will be here so you will scroll down and you do the same thing once again. You copy all of this, go to the bot, tools generator, paste that for the third one exactly the same way. Once again you will copy all of this and paste it in the tools generator and for dual end you will do the same thing once again. So you will copy all of this and paste it in dual end. After you pasted all of the bodies, the send network requests checkbox will become enabled. So now by ticking this checkbox, you are ready to bot, you're ready to farm. You can double check that it's working by going to the bot tab. Here it will tell you that the requests are being sent. And now in the game, you can verify that it works by exiting out of raid duels and by going back in. Here it will say 4217 defeats. So you see that the defeats have increased by 3. If we go out again and go in again, we will see that now the number is even higher by 2 duels. Now, you can also look up the rewards you received by going to your profile and the history button right here. Then you will see that you just received rewards at 2126 and that's currently the, the time we have. So by checking the history you can make sure that it's still running, that you're still farming and getting rewards. It's very, very stable, so you never have to restart the game or anything like that. One important thing to remember is every time the game is restarted, every time you click on initiate link, you need to recapture the network traffic and copy the body strings once again, because the session will be expired and you need to get the new session ID in, inside the body string, okay? So... As long as you let the game sit like this, you're able to farm and it will continue to keep generating you items and wins and so on. See? 4228. Now, we also get XP for doing this because every win is worth 500 XP. Now, if you click on Bastion, my currently selected character, the XP is currently in the middle pretty much or a bit after the middle but this is not the updated xp you will only see the updated xp if you switch characters so if i switch to crawler for example and then back to bastion i see that he's now level 31 because in the background he is getting farmed and only when i switch characters i will actually see the updated level so that's all there is to it now all you have to do is just let your game sit like this and it will continue farming and generating duels and wins and XP and all that good stuff. This is the fastest method to farm raid duels and the requests are simply being sent out as fast as possible one after each other and that's very effective and right. So you can even minimize the game right now or the bot or everything here. This window has to stay open. If you untick the checkbox it will stop sending the requests. Also, if you close the window, it will also stop sending the requests. You can see that by the bot lock, by the way. So if you close this, it will say that the Duolink's network request sender has exited. 
So now it's stopped and it won't keep farming. But if you want to continue farming, you will go back to the miscellaneous tab, duels generator, and then you tick the checkbox again. So there you go. Now it continues farming and you will continue getting rewards, XP, gems, and all that stuff. So we can look through the history. There you go. 2129. That's the current minute we're in. And if we scroll down, there's more. You also get the level up gems and so on. So I hope you enjoy it. Like, comment and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Happy farming. <laughs>